Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to another episode of Lore Machine. So this should be the last episode of this week. Um, we'll look at coming back next month for another episode. So we're going to look at lore, but I'm going to talk more about kind of my own thoughts. Uh, and this is actually kind of looking at this new CID. So on Wednesday, we have seen the new, uh, the new CID pictures and by the time of this recording i have not seen the new stats for all the characters but i don't think you really need to know that for this lore so kind of what was talked about in the cid from the developers is that aurora and directrix have a big fight now this fight probably has been a long build-up aurora has always wanted to become a clockwork body and directrix has made it a point to stop her from doing that now, Directrix is the Iron Mother, so she is the ruler of all of Convergence, but she is also Aurora's mother, um, which adds a little bit of animosity towards the group because Aurora feels that with her um, skill in battle and what she has done for the Convergence by creating Flight, the propulsion system for the Clockwork uh, Angels, she feels that she should be allowed to be in a Clockwork body, but that has not happened. Um, now, when you read the Oblivion book, uh, the Hermit has actually come to visit Directrix, and Directrix has turned him away. Aurora's been very frustrated with this, but during this time, the Hermit actually told Aurora that Nemo was her father. Now, side note, this is actually a different family than what has been talked about in past stories of Nemo. So when Nemo was first shown as a character, it said that he had a wife that died of rip lung, and they had a very young daughter, and he had never seen her da his daughter afterwards. So I know when Converge stuff first started and I first heard about Aurora, um, I had honestly thought that that might have been what had happened. Maybe he was just lied to. But if you ever read the Dark Convergence book, it actually talks more about Nemo's family, that he did see his wife die from rip lung, and then he sent his daughter away to be with aunts. Um, throughout that time, though, she had grown very distant from him, and she didn't want him around. But Nemo had actually seen her graduate from Corvus, um, had sent presents to her on her wedding day and actually had sent presents to his three grandchildren as they're growing up he only stopped doing that once he realized that she was throwing away the presents so unless we end up finding out that there was a fake um daughter that had been switched with um we're pretty sure that this might be a new family um i'm not exactly sure how nemo fathered aurora maybe just as he was you know, going around town, he, you know, did something with Directrix when she was a human. I, I don't know. But that's probably a story for another time. Um, but what I'm also interested with is uh, with this new CID is that um, Asphyxius is in a clockwork vessel. Now, my thought on this is, is that, I guess the best way I could put it is that Convergence and Crix are supposed to be very different. They feel that Crix uh, is necromantic, um, very dark and vile. But the true realization is, especially if you've been listening to the previous episodes, is that the reason why the Converged are able to transfer their souls is because they studied the Crix. So they're a lot more similar than they feel. My guess is, is that Aurora found that out and she, some through some means or whatever, she ended up aligning herself with Asphyxius. Now as to why Asphyxius is in a clockwork body now, what I think possibly could happen, and again, taking, uh, take what I say with a grain of salt, this could be true, this could not be true, this is kind of just my theory. And I'm also very interested in your guys' theory. But my theory is that they were out in a battle and somehow Asphyxius his body was destroyed, and during that process, something had happened to his soul cage. With his soul cage being damaged, my thought is that there could have been an Enigma Foundry close by. When his soul came out, because he was aligned on the Convergent side, uh, this, his soul was actually taken into a soul vessel. With a soul in a soul vessel, they knew he was there, so they built him a new body and put him in here. Now, this could also explain why he's struggling so much with the new body. And the reason why I say I could explain it is because 
there is a theory that if you die in battle as a warcaster, when you get transferred into a soul vessel, if you were a human or in this case, if you were um, in a soul cage, right, not in a soul vessel, uh, that something could happen to your warcaster abilities. And either A, you could be permanently damaged or possibly you just have to relearn things. And I think this could be a good reason as to why both Asphyxius and Nemo are starting out and trying to figure out their body because they're not what they used to be now. They are in a completely different body than they were before. It's not like Asphyxius where he was going from literal body to literal body. This is him going from his soul cage to his soul vessel. So he's trying to understand that he potentially lost some of his former abilities and he's trying to get those back. Um, so that's kind of my theory and thought around it um, as to how true that is. I hope within the next year we will see more fluff and story as to the convergence and what is going on in with Aurora. Um, yeah, but uh, guys, I want to thank you very much for going on this journey with me over this week on some of the lore. Um, I did a lot of high level touching on stuff. I want to deep dive probably more characters and stuff over potentially the next couple months. Um, I want to talk about you know, other factions as well. We'll do some deep diving on convert on Signar, on trolls, all of that stuff. Um, yeah, but let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know if you want to hear more or if you think this was really dumb. And either way, thank you guys very much. I want you to have a good day. Bye.